What's going on, y'all? This is John Alsace with Face Mask Fantasy. We got new up-to-date fantasy content coming your way every day on this channel. So if you have not subscribed already, then please hit that button. But before we get into our main topic for today, my co-host Nick Payne put in a ton of work to give you guys a free 2021 redraft draft kit available on our website, which can be found at facemaskpod.com. It's a great piece of content, something that other analysts might be charging you for but we're giving it to you for free so without further ado let's get into some fantasy talk and today i wanted to talk about shy smith now the panthers selected south carolina wide receiver shy smith with the 204th overall pick in the 2021 nfl draft he comes into the league at 5'9", 186 pounds, and he was listed as a wide receiver and kick returner in college. He shared the field with Debo Samuel and Brian Edwards as South Carolina's slot receiver until 2020 when they had both left for the NFL. And in 2020, he set college career highs in target percentage with 28.8 and in general overall production with 57 receptions, 633 yards and four touchdowns. He emerged as the team's go-to weapon in 2020, but his first and only season as the leading man was in the season that was cut short by COVID. So if not for COVID-19 and the shortened schedule, his numbers would likely have stuck out even more compared to his previous seasons. Now in the pre-draft process, he gained notoriety for leading the American team in receiving yards at the Senior Bowl. But he is not a darling of the analytics community like his South Carolina brethren were coming out as he only averaged a career 11.1 yards per catch in his college career. He lacks the ideal height and weight to stand up to heavy NFL usage, even at the wide receiver position as he's only 5'9", 186 pounds, like I said earlier. And he was also charged with 11 drops since 2018 and only came away with 9 out of 31 contested catches over the past two years. Considering all those negatives, along with the fact that he was drafted in the sixth round, it's fair to wonder if he even gets drafted in a regular draft year because the NCAA granted everybody that was due to come out of the draft last season an extra year of eligibility due to the pandemic in 2020. As a result, the 2021 NFL Draft had approximately one-third the number of prospects as a normal year because so many players opted to return to school to improve their draft stock following sitting out the 2020 COVID season. Many of those prospects could have been day two picks or day three picks that would have pushed Shai Smith off of the draft board and into the undrafted free agent pool. But he was drafted, so where does this leave him for the 2021 season in terms of fantasy? Now he landed on the Panthers, which puts a ton of receiving options ahead of him on the depth chart. There's DJ Moore. Robbie Anderson, Terrace Marshall Jr., and David Moore, who are all ahead of him on the receiving depth chart, and he's fighting with Brandon Zilstra, Kryshawn Hogan, Keith Kirkwood, Omar Bayless, Ishmael Hyman, CJ Saunders, Micah Simons, and Steven Sullivan for the 5th, 6th, and 7th wide receiver spots on this team, and that's if they're keeping up to 7 wide receivers, some teams keep 6. Now that's a lot of names and not a lot of spots. So while he was drafted by this regime this season, it may not be enough to keep him off of the practice squad year one. On top of this, his quarterback play should be suspect as Sam Darnold is their quarterback for now. And even if he should rise above David Moore on the depth chart, Christian McCaffrey is gonna get more work than Smith will out of the backfield. And we haven't even gotten to Dan Arnold who should command a fair share of targets as their receiving tight end. All this to say, I'm not expecting Shai Smith to get a ton of work outside of special teams in 2021 so I'm not looking at him in season long or DFS leagues. Now in Dynasty in 2022, his best case scenario is ending up in a battle for the number three receiver spot on this team with David Moore after Anderson leaves. And that's if they bring in nobody via free agency or via the draft at the position. And with his lack of athleticism and size, I just don't think he becomes a mainstay in this offense. I think they either re-sign Anderson or replace him with the draft pick, thereby ensuring that Shai Smith stays buried on the depth chart. So in Dynasty, I'm not looking at him either. To me, he looks like a career kick returner special teamer. So that's not somebody that I want on my Dynasty teams. But if you feel differently, please let me know. What do you guys think about Shai Smith? How do you feel about him? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is John Alsace and this is Face Mask Fantasy. We bring you new up-to-date fantasy content every day right here on this channel. So if you have not hit that subscribe button, please do. Thank you for listening and have a great day.